Hello, this is Monero from Underrated Hardware, and today we are going to be looking at Android Pie. Now this was released only for Google Pixel devices and the Essential Phone a couple days ago. So most other Android devices will not get it for another couple months. And I've used it for, I don't know, a day and a half now, and it seems to work great. So let's get into it. So they got the little pill down here. This does all your navigation features. Swipe up, you can go to your app menu, kind of like iOS. You can also swipe this way, this way, this way, you know, any way you want to go whatever app. Here's YouTube. And there's Google. And the, the back arrow only shows up when you in apps that need it. So let's say I go to Google, the back arrow will only pop up briefly. The uh, there's a couple other things I've noticed about it. The, the clock is in the upper left hand corner. Don't know if you can see it. It's way up here. And there are a couple things I found that have been really fun about it. The battery saving is awesome, like crazy good. Because I've used this for a couple days now, and it's clearly better than than Android Oreo. The settings have changed a little bit. It has more of a Samsung uh, settings like they've had in Samsung phones. And the, the battery manager it really doesn't tell you much. It just shows you this. But in the background, the AI is working, I guess working day and night. And my battery's been doing pretty good. It even tells me about what time my battery should last to. And there's quite a few different things to this pretty fun and basically the user experience seems to be uh, just as smooth as Android Oreo and the essential phone with it being uh, with it being on sale with the Prime Day a couple weeks ago uh, people got it for a real good deal and if you happen to find one of these for 200 or 300 bucks then yeah it'd be a great choice because I mean they get the latest updates as soon as they come out and I guess my night mode just kicked in. Now up here, there there's a couple different things, a couple little quirks I've had with it. The brightness, it just turned on night mode right now. But the brightness, it's adaptive, but it takes it a couple, uh, several hours for it to like figure out where you like your settings. Like sometimes I'll put it all the way down, and I'll go go into some app, and then I'll find that it's like halfway up, like way up here. But eventually it adjusts, and sometimes it just does that randomly. I don't know why, it's just doing that. And nothing's too much changed up here. All the widgets are relatively the same. And it seems to be working great. Haven't had any problems with it. Yeah, but that battery saving feature is really, really good. Like, if anything, just upgrade just for the battery saving feature. Yeah. Well, that's everything. Uh, stay tuned for another episode of Underrated Hardware.